How you doing guys? It's Gavin from Pondsview. We've been a bit quiet lately because a couple of the clients didn't want us recording uh, the full the build but he doesn't mind us doing a finished product. So we started off with just a grass area here. The customer did have a pond here in situ um, which we, he was running the Nexus 220 his air pump and his UV, it was pump fed Nexus sat there um, obviously it was leaking he's been keeping Kai a long time and he wanted a, a good pond he wanted it all singing all dancing um, as you can see the, he's been out during the weekend painting so we started off with just a grass area we set the shape of the pond up we did have a bit of trouble with surface water so we had to dig a sump on the side where we were building and pump the water out as we were going so we set up the pond excavated the pond concreted it we have got a bottom drain in here uh, an air diffuser one um, at the moment there's not much air coming through here because we are running the nexus and this air diffuser off it uh, normally we would have a separate air pump just for the, the bottom drain um, we've got a black fiberglass, it's a block on flat ponds, so it's 9 inches thick. We've gone for a grey slate up against the waterfall, because the client didn't want to see the filter bay when he's sitting on his patio. Um, so yeah, we've gone for a 22 uh, mil, I think it's two, I think it's 25 mil actually, glass, I think it's two 12.5 mil laminated heat soaked. Uh, we've gone for a render finish, some people go for a brick finish, some people go for um, <coughs> a stone finish. Our pond's got a stone on it. Um, and we've gone for a grey Indian sandstone with a plum slate to finish it off. Uh, let me know what you think guys in the comments, the fish seem happy. Um, we have got a couple of these coming up, hopefully the clients will let us record the full process. From start to finish, the old man up there just cleaning up now. Uh, we had trouble with the weather, we had trouble with the glass, um, <clears throat> with, the, with the time scale of the glass, so we decided to buy this canopy. It wasn't cheap, um, but the day the guy came to render, it was raining and it didn't, we didn't have no issues with this now. So, hopefully, our up and coming pond builds. It'll be a lot easier towards the winter. We are what's it, uh, just first week of September. Well, it's raining now actually. So <clears throat> the Welsh weather uh, is not the best for building ponds all year round. So when it comes to the winter now we've got a couple of uh, sandstone cut slabs to finish off there. So yeah, what do you think guys? If you want to see more? Uh, click hit the like button and subscribe because we will be getting some more videos coming up shortly look at the size on him eh the fish seem really happy water's still a bit murky because the filter is not <coughs> I haven't been running for two days yet Oh, he's coming up. I think he wants a feed. We've got a bit of ceiling on the shirt to do as well. The question is, guys, do you like the ponds with a viewing window or not? Some people prefer a more natural pond, uh, which is dug in the ground with rocks and rock waterfalls. Or would you prefer more modern ponds uh, with a biological filter system instead of a natural filter system uh, which is via plants and obviously all the organic uh, plants so we've literally just put the, the fish back in now <coughs> cleaning up to do. Obviously you've got to crack eggs to make an omelette as they say. We've still got jet washing to do. 
and some of the things we damaged, we damaged a bit of concrete here and some bricks are loose here we we'll keep bringing the excavator up so we'll, we'll redo all that uh, we never leave a customer unhappy